Hey everyone, here we are. Time to uh, start again. I just finished killing Mom for the first time, if you watched the last episode. And uh, now it's time to see if I can get to the new chapter, the womb. I have unlocked Eve, but I am not yet going to use her. What I figure I'll do is I'll uh, attempt to kill Mom's heart with Isaac here, maybe unlock Maggie or Kane along the way. If I do succeed, I'll also unlock Judas, regardless of my uh, status of unlocking Kane or Maggie. So I will, uh, after killing Mom's heart with Isaac, I will start killing Mom's heart with other characters, so that I uh, make sure to unlock everything I can. But the point of doing it now doesn't really doesn't really seem there for me because I still haven't done it with Isaac. Um, this is a great trade, one bomb for three. And to be honest, I'm not going to unlock Kane for a while. Or, not Kane, I'm not going to unlock Samson for a while. Definitely would love to unlock Kane. Because uh, for Samson, I have to skip two item rooms and then kill Mom, which isn't really that hard. But I don't want to do it because I don't like Samson. I'll do it once I kill Mom's heart with every other character that I have unlocked, and that'll be my next goal. So that was the uh, fifth, I think, of our seven deadly sins. Once I kill all seven, I'll get um, the Book of Sin, which is another book. It spawns a random pickup. Every time you use it, respawns uh, or recharges. I don't know how often. I picked up a new item here. This is the uh, remote detonator. What it does is it lets me place a bomb and uh, it won't blow up until I press space to activate the remote detonator. So this is a new boss for the actual Let's Play here, Monstro. Pretty easy. Back when I first started this game, I could not kill Monstro. I would always die on him. He was the hardest thing that ever happened. But um, here we are. Usually I don't take damage on him anymore, so I'd say pretty good step. Using the remote detonator there. It also gave me five extra bombs, so I don't feel bad about that use there. Because I figure it speeds up the fight here. Another new item, Squeezy, increases my rate of fire, gives me two soul hearts, so I'd say that's pretty excellent. I haven't used my Hermit card because, of course, so far I don't have much money. Oh man, that was pretty stupid damage. So when I have more money, I'll use it. Probably not on this floor, but there's a chance. Oh yeah, I forgot that I have to blow it up myself. And the cellar, not a fan. When Wrath of the Lamb came out, I had a lot of tr a lot of trouble with the cellar, mostly due to spiders and the cricket-like things. Ah, golden key, excellent. That lets me unlock every uh, locked door on the floor without needing to have any normal keys or any other keys. Not really worth it, it's not... I mean, well, it's kind of worth it because it's a normal chest, but it's very early in the game, so the challenge room isn't hard at all. So we've got two hoppers and the cricket thing I was talking about that I forget. I think it's called a trite. That's, that's correct. And then we get horfs, which, you know, pretty easy enemies. They don't move. Clotties, though. Clotties are not my favorite. For them, gotta just play patient. Shoot diagonal shots when possible and prioritize dodging their shots. But it went well. Came out. Don't think I got hit. Check for the secret room, but it's not there. I will visit the shop just because I have an infinite number of keys. I figure, uh... I'll get this pill. Bad gas, didn't hurt me, didn't help me. Not a big deal. Second priority now, well, first priority now, of course, is the item room. Should never take damage against, uh, these are just clots as opposed to clotties. Small rock, that means, oh, you just have to destroy rocks, not tinted rocks? I didn't know that. So now, a tinted rock has a chance of dropping a damage up, speed down, and tears up which is great. It's uh, like two damage up, which is good. Dead Bird. This is one of the items Eve starts with. Whenever I get hit, I have a... Ch well, no. Whenever I get hit, I will spawn a bird that will uh, trace enemies and attack them. 
It's pretty good. It's passive, so I mean, it doesn't matter to me. But it does a decent amount of damage. Gonna check for the secret room here because there's a chance, and then here because I should have checked here first since it's next to the uh, sacrifice room there. I may as well visit the sacrifice room. I'm not caring about the basement boy achievement yet. Uh, dead cat. Interesting. I'll do it because I haven't picked it up yet. And now I've picked up two dead items in the same playthrough, unlocking the parasite. So our boss here is Pin. Another easy boss. Could have killed himself there. I don't know why it didn't hurt him. But he'll just jump around, shoot a little bit. Pretty hard to take damage on. Well, not, not hard, but pretty easy not to take damage on, I should say. Of course, I've taken a hit, and I don't... I can't get the Basement Boy achievement yet. Not this run, at least. I'm sure I'll get it eventually, as I will get Spelunker Boy, whatever the Depths Boy one is called, and Mama's Boy for completing uh, every pair of floors without taking damage. So health up, that puts me back in a decent position. One thing, though, is if I die, as you see, I have nine lives, but if I die, I will respawn with only uh, one red heart because that is how the item works. Or, er, yeah, dead cat. And here I am taking far too much damage. Tinted rock means I will definitely uh, visit that chest. I was hoping for the damage up there. But I'll use this pill. Bad trip, that sucks. Bad trip becomes a full health pill if, you, if it would kill you to take one heart of damage. Pretty easy room. I might or might not be able to get the pickup. I do... Still don't have enough money to use my Hermit card. So, uh, these guys, I forgot what they're called. Only one of them, so that was alright. Oh man, I'm just taking a lot of damage for no reason. And I'll let the dead bird take care of the spider, hopefully. Okay, well, it's just gonna chase the eternal fly around in circles. Our tinted rock, troll bomb. It's really inconvenient. I would uh, now like to run into a heart. Check for the secret room. Back up. Nine cents. That means I will go to the shop, and really hope it's not greed. Um. Well, I'll get a heart back. Not gonna pick up the key now. So I. I I'm in a decent position. Hopefully this boss won't be too hard. Catacombs, of course, means I can get harder bosses, though. Okay, gonna completely ignore the middle there. Ah, a knight. So you see the hard way to fight them, having to attack their brain. Bee lickers. Of course, bee meaning butt. Confirmed. And the eternal fly has too much health. Now I'll focus on the enemies here. And they split once you kill one of them. Picked up all of the coins from the golden poop. Bad position to be in. Well, it's okay, I guess. Let's see what's in the item room. Hopefully something good. Ten bombs. It's alright. Haven't picked it up yet, so it doesn't hurt. I think one thing that'll be nice about this Let's Play is I have to pick up all of the items again. It'll be great. I can't just ignore things I dislike. Well, I can, but I still have to do it eventually where I pick them up. So it'll be uh, good for variety. Of course, I will try not to pick up the dead cat much off, much at all anymore after doing it here. Could be the reason that I failed to kill Mom's heart if I fail, which is a distinct possibility. Utero is a pretty tough floor, which is the alternate floor for the womb. I mean, the womb can be pretty tough, too. Depends on the rooms you get, the enemies you get, which is pretty much the same exact thing. So n pretend I didn't say both of them. Oh, man. These guys are awkward, of course. Uh, they go at different angles of diagonal movement. 
they're kind of like Larry Jr., where they split into parts. Each part has its own individual damage. Champion versions, of course, uh, drop different things, as is usually the case with champion enemies and champion bosses. Oh man, I almost walked into that there. Gotta really avoid taking damage here, because I don't have much to take. I'm gonna plant a bomb here, and use it now. Great bomb, wire coat hanger, tears up, great pickup, and uh, full health. I'm gonna check out the challenge room. Since any item could be helpful at this point, maybe it's a health up. Nope, normal chest, I'm leaving. So going on to the next floor, uh, I want to visit the shop again. Of course, I want to visit the item room. And uh, that's priorities. Caves 2 as opposed to Catacombs 2, which is good. Easier floor. Spitties, pretty easy enemies. Provided I, excuse me, pay attention to which directions they're shooting. There's a champion. I don't know why that guy just shot out of his butt, but, you know, whatever. Champion went down easily, dropped a coin. A coin I don't particularly need right now, but I'm not going to complain. Maybe I unlock Kane this run. Of course, the challenge behind unlocking Kane is that you don't have Kane, so you win less on the slot machine, or you just don't collect as many drops from rooms or anything like that. Uh, one bomb for two and items like that. Definitely a good trade. I went up instead of down. Against my uh, usual choices. Taking damage on clots, not that not that good. And of course you'd think to call them gish, but they are not gish, they are clots. I'm going to play the arcade anyway. Just for a moment. See if I can do that. If I get a couple hearts, I'll uh, play the blood donation machine. See if I can get a blood bag. Maybe I'll play this. See if I can get a skate tool, which uh, makes flies not dangerous to me, but they are attracted to me. Um, blood bag increases my health by one, recovers my health by four, and increases my speed by one. It's a really good item. Of course, you have to be lucky enough to pick it up. If I played the slot machine, I'd have the chance to jackpot for the one dollar bill. It gives me 99 cents. And I uh, play in the blood machine just because I have extra hearts now. And I get the blood bag. Awesome pickup. So now I don't really care about many things I could win here. Would be nice to get money though. If I could run it. Well, I'm leaving now. 20 cents, still pretty good. Have to visit the shop. I remember back in uh, Halloween update times, in the shop you could buy a quarter for 15 cents, which is, you know, 25 cents for 15. Why would you not do that? You used to be able to buy a lot of things in the shop, though, like health ups and pretty much every item in the game, which would be pretty nice. But not the case anymore. Now you have a specific number of things that you can pick up from the shop. Pick up the compass and the soul heart, because I like having health, and I like knowing where the item rooms are. So these uh, hosts can be pretty annoying. Red hosts uh, don't have to wait for them to pop up to damage them. Didn't know I was in his range. Didn't think I would fail to dodge that. That's pretty bad. Nope, that's not the... Oh yeah, the dead bird can attack them while they are not upward. Lard increases my health by two, recovers one half of one heart of the two it gives me. Me, you, I combine the two. And it decreases my speed by one or two, I'm not sure. I'm rhyming too much there, so that's, uh, that's worrisome. Don't want to suddenly become Willy Wonka or something. I assume he rhymed, I forgot it. It's been a while since I've seen that movie. Tarot card, let's see what it does. Death, that is uh, one room use of the Necronomicon. 
effect, which damages all enemies in the room. May as well use it now. It significantly damages all enemies in the room. And once I use that five or ten times, I will unlock the Necronomicon itself. So, as I'm demonstrating, you can walk diagonally through spikes because their hitboxes are weird and you won't take damage if you do it right. This will be the uh, sixth of the seven deadly sins. Gluttony has a chance to spawn a health up and uh, it'll give me full health as well. He didn't, which is, you know, fine. Haven't really gotten any of the item drops from the seven deadly sins. This could be a tough room. I damaged myself there, but I'd say it was worth it. Sort of. I'm hoping Dead Bird can just do some work for me. I'm gonna let Dead Bird handle this. Because I don't want to take more damage. And it's on to the boss room. Yeah, I can imagine that, uh, Basement Boy, Spelunker Boy, Depth's Boy, Mama's Boy, those are a while off. Need to get a pretty overpowered run. It probably won't happen until Isaac has a spacebar item, the D6. Or just if I get really lucky with pain or something. So this is the first of the uh, horseman bosses that we unlocked. It's not the first technically, but it's the first one we run into. So this is Pestilence, one of the horsemen of the apocalypse. Oh, putting myself in a bad position. Wow. That's some lag. He just spewed bombs at me. And now he's in his second phase, significantly easier. I've taken a lot of damage, but in the arcade is a lot of health, if you recall, so that's good. I'll play my uh, money into the... Not sure which. Into the games, basically. So he gives all of the horsemen drop uh, cubes of meat, which rotate around you. They block shots. But since there are four horsemen, of course there are um, four cubes of meat you can collect because you can run into all of them in the same run. And each time you collect one, it upgrades the one you have. So, awesome, I got Skatel. So another new item. Like I said, makes flies love me. But um, each cube of meat upgrades the meat rotating around you. The second phase will um, make it shoot with me while still rotating. The third phase will make it separate from my orbit and attack enemies. Much like the uh, dead bird, but it doesn't fly, so it's limited by things like rocks. I will do this gold chest because I have money. And the fourth will make it both stronger and more intelligent, and also larger, but eh, not a big deal. We'll make the uh, home the attacking meat boy stronger and more intelligent, so it'll attack enemies better. I'm losing too much health here. Gonna plant a trap here. Awesome dodging. That was like some MLG level map movement. If there were a professional League of Binding of Isaac, that would be a top play right there. So we find the item room thanks to the compass. Rusted key increases the rate of drops of chests and keys, I believe. Magneto attracts items to me, so since I can't fly, that can be pretty convenient. I can go, uh, demonstrated in this room to the right here where these will just come towards me. It'll work on health but it won't attract health if you already have all the health you need. It will always work on soul hearts since you can always have more soul hearts. Well, maybe not always but I don't think you're going to run into the limit at any point in time. Pretty easy room. I was going to do the diagonal walking but I didn't have to thanks to the Oh, oh, no, no. Gonna kill them all with that. So one uh, nice use of the remote detonator. Of course, even though there's nothing here, still visiting all of the rooms just because I can. And that was almost pretty tough. I have a lot of bombs, so I may as well, you know, use them. 
Uh, I know the shop will not have greed because, as you can see, there's a mini boss indicated where there isn't a room, which means that is both the secret room and a greed boss fight. Because for some strange reason, greed is the only boss that can spawn in secret rooms. I figure I'm not going to visit him because I've already fought him. And uh, the only. Which sin do I have left? I can't think of it. I'm pretty bad at remembering all seven of them. Oh yeah, this room will be pretty easy. They can't hurt me. And they'll just uh, go towards me and not even be threatening. So it's good that I picked up uh, Skatol early. Because it makes a lot of rooms significantly easier, much like that. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to use the bomb. Great pickups, money, and I think that really remote detonator makes nights a lot easier. That's that's nice. I didn't think of it before. I hadn't used it much because uh, back back when Wrath of the Lamb came out, which is uh, when this item came out, um, you ran into a lot of really really good items like very frequently before the uh, item drops were rebalanced. Like, you'd get flying every run, you'd get spectral tears every run, you'd get, you know, other overpowered things every run. Sacred Heart was more common. Sacred Heart is probably one of the best items in the game. I'm gonna visit the shop, since I know it can't be greed. If I were to collect three more cents, I would certainly buy the treasure map, since I still have to go to the womb. Man, that could be annoying. Okay, that's one cent, but uh, not not enough. Oh, I could fight greed, and that would give me the money I'm looking for, or a steam sale. I'll do that, cause why not? I didn't mean to do that though. My bomb is still here. I'm gonna push it towards him. This is fun. I haven't done this before. <laughs> But I'm taking too much damage, so I need to uh, stop and focus on actually fighting here. Just gonna blow that up, place a bomb there. Kill Greed. Took a lot of damage, though. Got a lot of money. So I'll go to the shop, pick up the treasure map, which will make uh, the womb really easy because there are no item rooms that spawn. Pretty much the only thing you want to do is go right to the boss. Treasure map. Okay. So, on to finish that last room and then fight the boss. Hopefully uh, an easy boss. I still have nine lives, but doing everything with one heart could be pretty tough. Hopefully I won't die. Of course, you always hope you won't die, but sometimes that's tough to ask, tough to uh, make happen. Larry Jr., pretty easy boss. Keep your distance if you have the range. Shoot, take bad damage. Kills poop because it can still drop hearts and money and things. Could have used my bombs. I mean, what else are they for? Picking up new ones. Three hearts. I mean, I've done worse. I'm sure I've done with worse. But really depends on the enemy. Loki again. Apparently the only boss I can run into on the depths. Uh, using his bomb flies, that can generally be a good source of damage on him. I didn't even know he could spawn for once. Okay, this is getting pretty tough. And I wish my dead bird would focus on something other than the spikes. Well, I just have to be careful and be patient. And this boss will continue going my way. Hopefully. Loki, uh, taking a good amount of damage. Thanks to the bomb fly there, being conveniently timed. Okay, Jesus Juice. New item again. Used to drop all the time. Like, literally, if you didn't get it in a run, it was amazing. So it says range and tears up. I'm not sure if it actually increases range. But I know that it increases your damage by one and a half times. No joke. 
so really a great item. So it's okay that it drops all the time. Uh, this enemy is Mama Guts. It will uh, turn into two Guts when I kill it. As you can see, those are Guts. There are two of them. Headed straight to the item room first, because I now know where that is thanks to the uh, combination of the map and the compass. Really great combination of items to have. Magneto attracts troll bombs, which is annoying. Hourglass. It's new, so I'm going to use it. Slows down time for your enemies. It doesn't freeze them fully, but it slows them down. I will go to the arcade and the library. Oh wow, two bomb leeches. These are champions here, so they will drop items. Gonna get out of there. Don't want to get hit by the explosion like I did, of course. Oh, this is going to be an annoying room. I used that uh, thinking that I would still have the remote detonator. Silly of me. But you get accustomed to using an item for a while. Act like you still have it. Of course, I hadn't used a bomb yet, so... I wouldn't have done anything, but that was what I was expecting to happen. <laughs> So this room went pretty well so far, and now it's gone well, totally. Mom's coin purse allows you to have two trinkets at the same time. I would pick it up if I had three more cents. I'll visit... I don't think I can visit the uh, secret room there where it is, <laughs> which is pretty annoying. Why would it be positioned in a place where you can't access it? But I'll try. This could be a tough room, again, if I don't position myself carefully. But, looks like it went fine, and now it officially has gone fine. I will use key here. Could be an item, or it could be that. So what am I hoping for here? I'm hoping for the small rock. Excellent item. Using the hourglass because it recharges so frequently. And again, gotta be careful. I don't remember what these guys are called, but they're obviously very similar to the Vis, except that they shoot those things. Okay, Soul Heart, doesn't hurt. Book, Telepathy for Dummies, I'll use it so it appears in my collection, gives me homing tears for the room, but I honestly don't want it. I'll then enter the arcade, blow him up. Should have done that in such a way as to uh, hope to get in the secret room. Which does work through the arcade. Okay, awesome. So now I have enough, enough money to get Mom's coin purse. And this really isn't the, what I wanted. I wanted a normal slot machine so that I could get the dollar. Umbilical cord, not very useful. None of these trinkets are pretty, are pretty useful at all. Um, the one on the far left is the safety cap, increases the drop rate of pills, doesn't improve their quality or anything. The middle one is the liberty cap, gives you a random mushroom effect for uh, every room. And of course they don't stay. You get a different one every room and it changes every room. And the umbilical cord will spawn just little Steven when you come down to one heart or one half heart. I don't recall. Either way, not that useful. Um, judgment card spawns a beggar. Very useful. Gives you a drop after you pay him a certain amount of money. Such as that drop, which was useful. Health up. Gives me uh, that fighting chance that I need. Of course I wasted all of my money forgetting that I wanted to pick up the coin or mom's purse. <laughs> Stupid me. Not really a big deal. I'm more glad to have the health than some other trinket. Doesn't really matter. So pretty much all that's left to uh, finish these rooms, fight the boss. And I will get this chest. Oh, bad damage, almost more bad damage. I'll let Dead Bird at least do something, please. Of course, I do have to most of the time. 
tell it that it's close to something, basically. Kill? Why not? Tears down. That's pretty bad, but I had a good, am good amount of tears, so it's okay. It, it's still bad, but it's not the worst thing that can happen. Wow, a keeper, two keepers, and a hanger. That sucks. Definitely gonna use this here. Decreases their range and their speed. Very important. <sighs> Pretty stressful. Not going amazingly, but not going terribly. Demon beggar. I don't really have the health to give up to him. Because instead of coins, he takes your health and can spawn, deal with the devil items, or other random things. Tough room thanks to the vomit grimaces, which are the faces shooting bombs at me. Didn't mean to leave, though. Well, that's one thing. I could keep uh, restarting this room until the vomit grimaces all become normal grimaces, stone grimaces, like the one in the middle there, or one on the left there. And this time I will complete the room, or I'll have the grimaces complete the room for me. But yeah, not enough health. Figure I'll take this risk, because why not? Mega Troll Bomb, that's annoying. Guppy's Tail, sure. Oh wow, I didn't realize, but um, if I collect three Guppy's items in the same playthrough, and now I have two, uh, I will become Guppy, which is unbelievably overpowered. Pretty much every shot you fire will spawn in a, a blue attack fly. So they'll chase down your enemies and do a lot of damage. So really hoping I run into a third one then. There are two others I could pick up. Guppy's head and uh, Guppy's paw again. Which would actually be pretty nice because then I could have 18 soul hearts. Uh, this is the hardest boss ever. Well, not really, but this version of Mom will spawn only Wrath of the Lamb enemies, which are uh, significantly harder enemies overall. So this one can spawn uh, Keepers, Freed Heads if you've forgotten. It can spawn the Cricket things. It can spawn a lot of sucky enemies. So what I need to do, focus on things like that. Focus on not taking damage. Now is the good time to use my item. And I really don't like that they're facing me. I really don't appreciate that. Keepers are really the number one priority in this fight, to kill. Um, there's a chance that I'll die. And then that would suck because I'd have to uh, start over with one heart. I mean, if it doesn't spawn as a champion, I have a chance there. Oh god. I need to not take two more hits, but I don't have enough damage to do this quickly. This could be very, very bad. Time to focus. Uh, commentary will suffer a little bit, but gotta win. I have have a chance, especially if um, the dead bird keeps up its madness here, helping me out a lot. Oh, that was good maneuvering. Really, this is the kind of uh, play it takes to clinch victories. I can only take, like, one more hit, and then I'm in uh, very severe danger as opposed to regular danger. Oh, man. I'm so close to death, but I'm also so close to victory. I did it. Okay, awesome. So now, get the coin purse, four random pills, two of them are bad gas. Hope for good. Telepills. Okay. Would I rather have telepills or bad gas? I think I'd rather have bad gas. And so now, I can showcase the womb. I will visit the secret room. There's a chance it's a good item. Everything here will do one full heart of damage instead of just a uh, half. So, uh, gotta be extra careful. Really hope for the best here. These are uh, not called fetuses, they're called babies. They fly around, shoot you, have a decent amount of health, taking a lot of damage. I'm uh, 
good chance I'll die, and then I'll be in a terribly annoying place where I have to uh, replay every room, or replay rooms, until I can win without taking a hard, like a single hit. So that'd be very tough. Hourglass is all right, but I'm gonna use it against them because these are some annoying things. Cysts. They just hide from you. Every time you look at them, pretty much, they'll just pop down in the ground and go elsewhere. <sighs> but, killed them all, hopefully for, uh, hopefully getting health there, and I did. Fortunately, I can't space myself to use bad gas effectively, but fortunately I, uh, have the hourglass. Uh, I don't actually remember what was fortunate that I was going to say. Hoping I don't run into death. Death is a pretty annoying boss, and I don't have many hits to take. It could make it troublesome. Hoping for health every time. And I'll let that guy hopefully kill some of them, but it didn't. Pretty easy room by room standards. Lucky that I'm picking up all these hearts. Oh, this is a tough room. Could die here. And uh, that's really something I don't want. Gotta be real careful. Sorry that the commentary is suffering. Let's hope for more hearts. Could this be full health? No. Full health is really what I need. So these guys are called Fred. Like, actually, one of them is Fred. I don't want to die here. I need more damage, but that's, uh... Not the situation I'm in, unfortunately. <sighs> so we go in here, hopefully Skull X. Skull X is one of the easiest possible bosses here. Which is excellent, because there's a decent chance, at least, that I will not take damage here. As you can see, you can only damage him on his tail thing there. Oh, man. Alright, so now, now this gets really tough. You might see me die eight more times on this boss fight. Because I don't have nearly enough damage. And he, as you can see, shoots those uh, tears that could be deadly. Every shot will kill me. And I can't really hit him right now. I can't take a hit to get Dead Bird out, which is very unfortunate. So this is, could be long. <sighs> this is going to be stressful. I'm really hoping that, uh... I was really hoping not to die. So we might not see our first mom kill yet. But, no. Uh, you know, I can't say I was expecting to go like 10 mom kills, zero deaths right away or anything. I'm just hoping to keep a good ratio for once. You know, more than I could have said in the past. This fight's going a lot better, but still really slow. Oh man. Not much commentary to give about this, so just keep dodging, keep hoping to hit his little tail thing. Also, if you look up a Skull X, most of the bosses in this game are named after, like, unfortunate medical conditions, and they're pretty gross. So don't look it up, actually. It's just probably more unpleasant of an experience than you want to have. Of course, if you follow the Binding of Isaac Reddit, you might have already seen the, these things, because occasionally people will post that kind of thing. Have a chance here. Oh man, sometimes those are so tough to judge, to dodge, because you really don't always know where they're going to land, exactly. <sighs> I would hate to die now, because <laughs> it's just so far into the fight. I can't take a single hit, though, or I will die. Any hit. Whatsoever. Oh my god. Alright, attempt number three. Of course, I could also use uh, my telepills, which uh, would have a chance to take me to the I Am Error room, which uh, would let me skip this floor. 
Not that that's really a benefit, because honestly, I'd, <laughs> I'd be in just as bad a position skipping this floor or finishing it. Because no matter what, I don't have enough health. And there's a chance that the I'm Air Room wouldn't even give me, like, a strong item or health up or really anything. Ah, oh, man. We're in it for the long haul. Of course, I could try to make my way up to the library up there and, uh... No, I couldn't pick up the Book of Belial because I haven't unlocked it. You unlock it for when you unlock Judas. I'm not... <laughs> not in a good position. I could pick up the Book of Revelations, which I have unlocked. Which would allow me to pick up one soul heart. A single one. Which still allows me to take two hits instead of one. And that is a... It's a large advantage. I would have won the last boss fight if I had had two hearts, probably. Probably. Can't say for sure, of course, but... I'd say there's a far greater chance if I could go without taking damage for that long. If I get down to one life, haven't completed this yet, I will use Telltales in hope of getting to I Am Error. But that... Pretty unlikely. I did it once when I wanted to. I was like, oh, I'm going to kill this boss, and then use telepills, and go to the I Am Error room, and get awesome stuff. And it happened, like, exactly, but that's just random chance. I have no control over it. <sighs> so again, we're putting up a fight. If only I could hit the tail more. But, still... Trooping on. Keep on trucking, if you will. Did a good amount of damage there. Really hoping not to uh, die in the same way as last, well, time before last. Or at all. Just I would hate to walk into him again. There was a chance I could have gotten hit there. But we're about as close as we were the other time. Oh man, this is this is stressful. This is a reason to never pick up Guppy's or a dead cat. Because I mean, if you don't get a good first life, or if you don't get it really early in the game when you can exploit it, you're just kind of screwed. Okay, okay, nope. Okay, we did it. One health up. I'm not going to use telepills. That's not worth it. Not worth putting myself at a terrible risk of dying again. Let's see what item we can get here. Hopefully, an item. One up. That will activate before Dead Cat will. So I'll have two hearts again if I die. Which is awesome. So back to, uh. Trooping <laughs> on through the womb. Pretty tough. Um, Freds are usually easy, but of course, I can't afford to make any careless mistakes or I'm gonna die. One thing about the womb, you cannot see tinted rocks. They're there, but you can't see them. So you have to either have a lot of bombs and risk uh, wasting them to blow up every rock possible, or just not care. I mean, I'd say that the damage up or any soul hearts would be very valuable right now. Okay, I think we're going to make it through this room unscathed. Oh, don't want that. Stay away from me. Two wraths, so uh, that could be tough. But they'll bomb themselves frequently enough like that, and, you know, that'll be convenient. I didn't know that they could bomb, like, through the side of the wall, but whatever. I'll take it. Didn't know there was wraparound in this game. But definitely one of the things that makes this uh, boss fight a lot easier is when they shoot bombs that you can either throw back at them or they just hurt themselves from the start. They have a pretty large amount of health, though. Because they have to be able to uh, withstand their own bombs and such. I was hoping that would take one of them down, but it didn't. 
Still playing carefully, though, and I think it's going well. I haven't been hit yet. I'd really like for one of them to go down. Mega Troll Bomb! <laughs> oh, man, that was close. Uh, eyes. Eyes shoot lasers. And with a room full of cysts as well, I'd say I'm at a high risk for damage. Somehow I made it through that without taking any. High focus. Sis, it's very annoying. Run away, like I said. Okay, just die. Just die already. You know you want to. You want to help me out, because you're a nice guy sometimes. Okay. So this is another time. Pretty much definitely going to use the uh, bombs up on the walls, because I'd really love to see soul hearts and things. But I do want to save at least a few bombs for mom's heart. I'm just going to leave. This is a tough room. The burrowing things. Oh man, I couldn't afford that damage. Hopefully there's a heart in here. Half a heart. I can take two hits. So we're going into this fight. Oh yeah, it's not It Lives anymore. Eyes first phase is uh, tough. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to plant my bombs. Of course, this version of Mom's Heart cannot spawn bosses. That was really damage I can't afford to take. Oh my god, a bloodshot eye. Hopefully this heart gets to me soon. Okay. So again, back where we started, much better position than where we were. Bombs, very valuable. I'm going to definitely make sure to use up the last three of my bombs, because, I mean, the game doesn't continue after this in this case. I'm not sure if this version of Mom's Heart, when uh, it shoots bombs after you take it down to like one third health or something, I don't know if they cause a uh, loop to be on the ground that you cannot walk on. Yes, it does. That's pretty annoying. But, going well. I have a good chance, unless that happens. I have a chance. It's nice that flies can't hurt me, unless, you know ones that shoot shots in four directions. No! Okay, another shot with two health. No bombs, though. So, uh, this is gonna, this is gonna be really tough. Starting with the eyes again. And then do the same thing, but again, no bombs means this will take a lot longer. And I'll have to be just as careful. I can't afford stupid hits like that. Alright, dead bird, get in there, please. And of course I'll have uh, six more attempts after this with only one heart. Oh, that's great. I mean, it can be done. I've done it. I don't think I've done it with this low damage, though. Okay, okay. Fred's, Fred's dead, baby. Fred's dead. Low bins. Seem pretty weak. Dead bird, get in there so fast. Eyes, eyes, dangerous, dangerous eyes. Okay, dead bird, stay in there. Stay away from me, Fred. This one's going pretty well. Well, not pretty well, but it's going all right. I never thought Mom's heart would be stressful again. But of course, I never planned on fighting it with uh, the dead cat. Oh man, though, that was unfortunate. Five tries at one health. Can't afford to take damage to get the uh, dead bird out, so that's really unfortunate. That's definitely a big disadvantage that I you know, can't really afford to have here. 
definitely going to be a long video just because of dead cat. Stupid dead cat. Just had to go and pick it up without becoming Guppy. If I could become Guppy, well, that would make the whole game really a lot easier. Guppy is so overpowered. Flight, constant flies, literally constant flies. And, you know, I don't know if there's any other advantages, but constant flies does a lot of damage. <sighs> Going well. Hasn't spawned the leeches yet, though. Leeches are probably soon. Bloodshot Eye! That is really, really unfortunate. And I don't know if it can possibly drop anything useful. Yeah. A bomb would be useful. Of course, it didn't drop a bomb. Even a troll bomb, because it would have been right there, in front of Mom. Still going well, though. Haven't taken the hit. Almost halfway. Eyes! I really hate eyes. Eyes are so freaking annoying when you're not strong. Leeches. Okay. This is where it gets tough. Gotta be extra careful. Oh man, this is gonna be so long. Bloodshot Eye, what can you possibly give me? Give me something good. Eternal Heart. Gee. Let's me take one more hit, but I mean, I can't get a second Eternal Heart to get a health up, or, you know, go to the next floor to get a health up. Like, it's, it's an extra hit, but it's not much. Well, actually, it's two extra hits. No, it's not. Because I'll, I'll be able to get to full health once I get it hit. Because I'll have half a heart and there's a half a heart sitting around, but I won't be able to get hit again after that. So it's not really useful at all. If I use telepills, I don't think it'll count as beating Mom's heart, so I don't really see the advantage. I, I mean, if I get um, I am error, it won't count as beating Mom's heart. So I don't see the advantage of doing it. I don't see any place it could take me that will uh, help me do well. I mean, I suppose the uh, arcade could get me a second eternal heart, technically, or it could get me a blood bag, but still, two hearts is not much. Actually, the blood bank costs a full heart to use in the womb, so I could use it once, and then I'd lose my eternal heart. And then I would be screwed again. Leeches are coming soon. Right now, in fact. Okay, gotta play it safe. Which I've been trying to do the other times. This is bad, this is bad, I thought that one would die. Okay. So now I just have to be careful until the leeches come back. Gazing globins. I seem to knock them back enough that it's not that bad. <sighs> this is so, so tough. And you know, you guys will see Oh, the video is so and so long, he'll either win or die at that point. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm going to win, I don't know if I'm going to die. And of course, leeches spawned far too soon. Oh man. If after this I never pick up the dead cat again, I wouldn't even be upset. Of course, I still have to become Guppy for you guys at some point, and I still have to do the Dead Cat Challenge, which is how I became Guppy on my own. First, oh no, oh no, Red Host, I hate you. Okay, Dead Bird, let's do this. Oh God. If it didn't take so long, this wouldn't be so bad. So I'm gonna try and make it quicker. I'm gonna stand here and then back up a little bit so that I get some cube of meat damage in. Very useful, since Mom's heart doesn't damage you. But of course, I'm just trying to make this go quicker because I'm not gonna win. I don't have the items or stats to win. <sighs> All right, there it is. Didn't quite win maybe next time. 
I'll be playing Isaac again, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.